Hey, what's going on? Not much here. Just another day in paradise. I'm going to try to install this wiring kit for trailer lights onto this 2015 Toyota Tacoma. Okay, here's the wiring harness laid out and all of its glorious splendor i gotta take the tail lights out so the instructions tell me feed this end through this tail light hole down through the frame across and up to that tail light so let's get started all right so the right or the left driver's side passenger or golly so the driver's side tail light is out there's a bolt here and here that you access from inside the tailgate jam and then it's just two bolts that hold it in and then these little tabs right here that you have to pull straight out of there their locks so I think that we're supposed to unplug this connector and put these two connectors between there So you see this comes apart. You just squeeze this little lock tab and then this from the, the new wiring kit, one end plugs into here like that. And the other end goes like a viat. I'm trying to do this with my left hand while holding the camera with my right. There. See, that just snaps together. Same here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, all of this assembly will feed down through that hole there and over to the other side mind you and this will hang down at the trailer hitch to plug into the trailer and this little control box here will hang in there on that stud and this this ground can also bolt to that stud or do a self tapper into that bracket right there as long as it's grounded to the the body somewhere now you just take this end and feed it through that hole the hole there feed it in there real easy to do and just feed and keep feeding it and feed it some more and to try to tell you that it's not hungry anymore but you just keep feeding it keep feeding the thing whether it wants to go or not you just feed it not to get aggravated all right that's got to hang in there somewhere because well it's got a sticky back on it but everybody knows that's not gonna stay long let's 
applied this little metric nut that will fit on one of these studs inside the light chamber. So you can just put your ground wire on that stud and then put the nut on there. Just tighten it down. Just tighten the thing. But don't over tighten it. Be gentle. Even though you're sure to be frustrated by now. Still do not over tighten. This side too. Oh. Yeah. I won't say nothing, nothing. As you can see, we have the driver's side tail light installed and the right side hanging out of the little Japanese truck the passenger side wire is about to feed through this hole passenger side goes together exactly like the driver's side Now all you have to do, while your father-in-law stares at you, is make sure that end is going to match your trailer end, and it does, so you just need to feed it into the bumper and work its, work its way over to the middle of the hitch here and then zip tie it up some way and it'll be here to plug into the trailer and then we'll plug it in here in a little bit to make sure that it works i got zip ties hey everyone this is uh gordon's again we're looking at the well right now we're looking at my light flashing on the ceiling hopefully that'll stop we're looking at the 1971 Ford Mustang Mach 1 that I've had in the shop here for the last couple years. Um, the transmission was out of it last week and we put it back in and got it running again and moving and I was just so uh involved in doing that job that I, I forgot that i didn't even think about filming any of it but we're a couple of quarts short she picked up some fluid and this little adapter for the kick down rod and the carburetor but um yeah so this car will be leaving soon like I said, 1971 Mach 1. Let's open this door and get a little light on the background. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about the car. It was last on the road in 1985. So the car has sit 95, 2005, 2015 about 20 years um no wait a minute 25 years so yeah 25 years um it's got the drop down little fuel tank cover there you don't see that hardly anymore it's got some body rust issues but the actually mostly on the trunk and the hood the rest of the car is not in bad shape the floor pans are really solid under the car the um the frame is okay it's a unibody construction so the frame and the body are pretty much one piece but everything is in good shape we just got to get the lights working um so yeah it runs good it's got the 351 cleveland in it And that car, that engine sit without running for 25 years. And we got it running. We put a, you know, new plugs, 
wires, cap and rotor, new fuel lines, new fuel tank, fuel pump, carburetor, and uh, you know, new fuel hoses, new coolant hoses, belts, and it runs good. It's actually pretty quick. It's got the C6 automatic transmission that we just put back in. We did not rebuild that, but we, we put the front pump seals in it. They were leaking all over the ground. Um, factory 14 inch wheels, brand new set of tires on it. And I think, I'm not sure if he's gonna paint it. I think he might already have a buyer for it. These cars are, are getting desirable again this was probably the least desirable body style of the mustang but you know there is a following the interior seats aren't in bad shape headliners falling down um so yeah i just wanted to follow up on that car i know i said i would be recording the build but just got so involved in it that i forgot to do the transmission install on video but uh and the uh the toyota that we did earlier the lights did end up working on that i, I videoed that but somewhere i lost the video on the for the lights actually showing up so anyway thanks for watching